My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Another amazing Chevelle, 1971 SS 454 with a rock crusher four speed cow induction and gauges. It scored 995 points out of 1,001 points. That is almost unbelievable. Uh, it was documented, it was on the cover of the Chevelle report. This thing is so immaculate, there's about four miles on it since a highly detailed, incredibly uh, restored Chevelle. And I'm gonna tell you a secret. This was done in 1995. My guys don't believe me. I didn't believe it when I read this. Same owner since 1984. I just called him. I bought the car from him. I was very happy with the car. We were amazed, one of the nicest restorations we've ever seen. When I read this, that it was restored in 95, I'm like, what? Something ain't right here. I called him. He said, yes, 1995. On and off the trailer, kept in a heated air-conditioned garage. No windows in his garage. He doesn't like sunlight damaging things. I'm telling you, this is one of the fussiest guys I've ever talked to. It's loaded with NOS parts. He doesn't use reproduction parts. He says if GM put it together, he took it apart. He took this car down to where it was in boxes. And I'm telling you, the end result was amazing. Truly one of the best I've seen. Now you might notice we have another 71 Chevelle and a red 68 Chevelle, all from the same guy. Real quick, I'll tell you, I bought the 68 Chevelle from someone else. He had sold it a couple years ago. I tracked him down just to find out more information about the car because I was so amazed. The 68 Red Chevelle is one of the nicest I've ever seen. I found him, I talked to the guy. As we're talking, he says, well, I have a 71 Chevelle. It wasn't even for sale. He's owned it since 1984, uh, just as nice. He goes, and my son restored a 71 Chevelle as well. I ended up buying both of them from him. Uh, just because I was so impressed with the car. So anyway, I can't wait to tell you all about it. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures top to bottom. That's where you find the price tags on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be the first to see the next one posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, I just can't say enough good things about this one. I'm telling you, if you're a fussy person, it, this is it right here. I've been doing this my whole life. There's beautifully restored cars, incredible cars. This is at the top of those. So the body was off the frame, the entire chassis completely disassembled, restored, prepped, painted. Uh, the floors under the car are pristine. All the spot welds, the frame uh, rails, braces, the rockers, uh, the seams look exactly like it came out of the factory and it's all painted a nice semi-gloss smooth black. The entire chassis all smooth and painted and every component was rebuilt. The brakes were completely redone, the bearings, the e-brake assembly, uh, their disc in front, uh, the suspension, it's an F41 suspension. Uh, which comes with sway bars front and back, boxed rear control arms, suspension entirely rebuilt. Bushings, shocks, uh, steering components, you name it, they're rebuilt. Uh, exhaust system is the correct style exhaust system. Has the resonators in back with the cowbell tips. The fuel system, all restored. The fuel lines, the tank, the semi unit, everything like brand new. You look up at the motor, it's spotless. The motor doesn't drip a drop of oil. The oil pan is Chevy orange and it's as smooth and glossy as this fender right here. Uh, the starter, the fuel pump, all that looks fresh. And it has the famous M22 Rock Crusher heavy duty four speed. Completely rebuilt, clutch, shift linkage, all that's restored like new. It's the correct transmission. Drive shaft is restored. 331 Posi in the back, completely restored, rebuilt. So again, under this car is pristine. Four miles on the car, 
on and off trailers, but it does function really well. I haven't driven it down the road, but just feeling the car, turning on the radio and shutting the door and the interior lights, it feels like a new car. Uh, the body is pristine, absolutely straight. Every square inch is perfectly straight. I cannot find any dense bubble, crack, damage, shrinkage. Uh, all of the body is absolutely fabulous. It all fits square and flush. All the lines are fantastic. Uh, you know, the moldings fit just right. Just outstanding body. All of the fit and finishes are amazing. No vinyl top on this car. Really sharp colors. Uh, Placer gold, I think it's called. No vinyl top with the Palomino interior. Very rare. It came with the conduction hood. I didn't mention this car has a build sheet. So it's a documented car, and it was restored exactly how the car was uh, born new. Uh, it was born with the conduction, the four-speed, the gauges, the bucket seats. It's painted in lacquer. That's how it would have left the factory, so that's how he duplicated it. This is a lacquer paint job, almost 20 years old, and it looks like it was painted last night. The hood, uh, these Chevelles, this is a problem area, getting them to fit up here. The fit is perfect. He's probably cringing because we put the pins in for the first time. He didn't want to scratch the pin. He had these taped behind the grill on both of his Chevelles. Uh, we just put them in for the first time. NOS parts. He said the grill is NOS. The bumpers are re chrome They're not reproduction. The lenses, the bezels, the moldings, all of it is pristine. Windshield is crystal clear. The glass is really clear. Fits real nice and square. Uh, the Argent uh, five-spoke wheels are all restored. Polyglass GT tires, reproduction, it still has the nubs on the tread. The bumper, tail lights, all of it's pristine. So how about now we open it up and we take you inside the car? Okay, let's go back to 1971. I'm going to show you what a trunk would have looked like when the car was brand new. The metal in here is pristine. This spatter finish was painted with a gun. This is an exact duplicate of the original spatter finish, not out of a spray can. The metal is spotless. And we got the correct mat, completely restored jack and spare assembly. This is a reproduction Goodyear tire, so has the nubs on it. All the wiring, the grommets, the weather strip, the latches, everything in here is pristine. The gold paint and the stickers. Uh, all of that is really beautiful. Got the correct speaker grills uh, on the rear deck here, and it's immaculate in the corners, all the trim, everything's like new and fits right. This Palomino color is very rare, and I think it's very attractive. But yeah, look at the door jams on this car. They're painted nicer than most exteriors on most cars. Uh, the door panel doesn't have a wave or a nick. The armrests, the window cranks, all of that's pristine. It has the factory gauge package. It has an AM 8-track player. And everything is restored. It's sparkling. The, the chrome, the bezels, the knobs, the vents. And if you were to lay on your back and look up under the dash, it's just as nice behind the dash. All new wiring. <clears throat> and everything functions. Glove box light works. Here's the owner's manual. It has real nice fitting carpet. Consoles restored like new. Has the correct uh, shifter knob with the Muncie handle. Most guys will just put on the white four speed knob, but that's correct for 71. The seat belts have been completely restored. The seats are restored, not just reupholstered, but all new cushions, which makes them feel nice and firm, not a wrinkle. All the plastic trim and headrest is redone. Back seat is done just as nice. Headliner doesn't have a wrinkle. All the interior lights work. This is really a spotless interior. 
I hear the clock ticking. <laughs> The radio plays. I've spent a few different phone conversations with the gentleman that owned and, and built this car. and uh, Trust me, he sounds very particular. Uh, and he said if GM put it together, he took it apart. The car was in boxes. He took it down completely and re meticulously restored it back to new. This is an immaculate motor compartment, just as it would have left the factory. No chrome valve covers. They were orange, just like you see it. All the right GM hoses, clamps, stickers, uh, the complete cow induction system, restored wiper motor. The squirters are hooked up. All the metal finishes are smooth, painted beautifully. This is a correct 454 motor has 512 casting. The VIN number is stamped on the front pad. In 1971, they were dropping horsepowers on, across the board. For whatever reason, this one went up five horsepower. A 70 LS5 was 360 horsepower. 71, they were 365 horsepower. So more horsepower than a 70. And when you match it up with the M22 four-speed, you had a pretty mean combination here. I think it was like 460 pounds of torque as well. This car literally looks like it was restored an hour ago. It's not dusty. It's not oily. There's no grime. He said uh, he just told me that he spent three hours detailing the car before we picked it up. <laughs> So there you have it, one of the nicest Chevelles in existence, also a very desirable Chevelle, 454, Rock Crusher 4-speed. Telling you this is nice. I'm convinced from the gentleman I got it from that he was super meticulous and I don't think he'd sleep at night. I don't think he'd sleep for a week if he knew he cut a corner anywhere. So there you have it. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to reach out to the salesmen. If you have questions, make sure you ask them. They'll help you the best they can. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you get the car financed at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe. Click the uh, bell icon, and that way you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.